good morning, Jack Corbett here, Head of Business Development at ISR Training and Recruitment. Welcome to our headquarters at 50 Caval Avenue Surfers Paradise. Uh, ecstatic to have the opportunity to release our first episode of the Business, Finance and Management series. Now, uh, first of all, what we want to focus on is assisting our budding entrepreneurs that have come through our course to be able to really start putting some ideas together of how they can take their business to market. Now, due to overwhelming demand from our students who are looking to move from being employed to being, being employers, uh, that they are finding it very difficult to be able to decide on a product or a business that they want to take to market. So, first of all, we'd like to identify the two different markets in which you could start your business. First of all, you could join the niche market. That would be a market where you're delivering a product or service that potentially has never been utilized in the marketplace before. It may be brand new, or it may be an adaptation of an existing product to be able to increase the efficiency or convenience of the deliverance of that product or service. Now, what you will find is that niche markets have the highest rate of application. A lot of entrepreneurs decide that they've got a life-changing idea that they want to take to the market. But unfortunately, 92% of those businesses do not make it out of their first year of trading. A couple of reasons. Number one, Poor marketing strategies. They don't actually manage to reach their target market. Secondly, low consumer interest. You've developed a product or service that is engaging to you as the entrepreneur, but it's not actually engaging to the wider audience or to the wider customer base, therefore not allowing you to make enough sales to be able to grow and develop a business. Also, as well as that, they get the wrong price point. You decide how much the product is worth instead of asking your audience or your market how much they would be willing to pay for it. Those are some of the reasons why niche businesses fail. Now, what we don't want to do is put you off from starting your own niche business because recognize those that do make it out of their first year into the second and third are often products that go viral. Let's look at, say, Airbnb. Uber as services, maybe something like the selfie stick as a product. If you do get consumer interest, then that can grow very quickly and exponentially almost overnight. But what more people have found beneficial when starting a business is to enter the mainstream market. Because naturally, there's already a demand for that product or service. Therefore, you can leverage off of your competition by, as long as you have a unique selling point, you can offer the product more conveniently at a higher quality or at a lower price, you're going to be able to accumulate a portion of their customer base. Then it comes down to you. Can you keep those customers? Can you wow them with the customer experience that makes them want to buy off you time and time again? If you can, there's a good chance that you're going to be able to be sustainable. Those of you that do want to get into the mainstream market when you start your business and you grow as an entrepreneur, it's probably best that you do that in one of three sectors. You either do that in consumables, something that people use on a daily basis, a coffee shop, a bar, a restaurant, a cafe, petrol services, energy services, telecommunications, something that a majority of us simply can't live without. Alternatively, you could get into something like efficiency or convenience products. Allow people to utilize a service that they already do on a daily and weekly basis, but be able to take it to them in a more efficient time frame. Allow them to access it with exerting less energy. We as consumers want everything now, now, now. We don't want to wait anymore. So if you can take your product to where your customer needs it most, that's going to be a business that thrives. The final option would be one that generally gets overlooked, is the opportunity to maybe start a franchise. The likes of a Zarafa's Coffee, a Subway, things of this nature, they're brands that have already done all the hard work for you. You leverage off of their reputation and the image that they have within the community to be able to build your little pocket within those. Also, guys, I know some people are formally against it, but don't ever totally rule out the opportunity to use a multi-level marketing system. That's an opportunity through network marketing to start a business with little to no outlay and grow a residual and passive income almost overnight. If you'd like any more guidance on how to start your business, or more importantly, how to develop your product and take it to the market, then feel free to communicate with us. Contact us at admin at isrtraining.com.au or alternatively, get yourself enrolled on the One Day Entrepreneur class. In that few hours, you will take an idea to a concept. You'll have a concept ready to take to market and you'll walk out of there two foot taller knowing that there's a fantastic opportunity for you to run, own and operate your own ethical business. 
Guys, this is just episode one. Continue to follow these videos, share them, continue to comment on the aspects of them that are helping you to grow your business or any information that you'd wish to acquire that hasn't been discussed today. We appreciate the opportunity to have some of your time. Take care.